Hello students, in this video we'll compute the mean and variance of a gamma random variable. Let's suppose that x is gamma distributed with parameters k and theta, which of course implies that the PDF is 0 if x is less than 0, and it's 1 over theta to the k gamma k x to the k minus 1 e to the negative x over theta if x is greater than or equal to 0. And so if I want to compute the expected value or the mean of this random variable, let's do so. That will be the integral from 0 to infinity of x times 1 over theta to the k gamma k, x to the k minus 1, and then e to the negative x over theta dx. And so what we have over here is let's make a substitution as we did previously. So if I let u be x over theta, then that says that dx is going to be theta times du, and my limits of integration do not change. So what we'll have over here is we'll have this expected value is the integral from 0 to infinity. I have an x to the power k over here, so that'll become a theta u to the power k. Then I'll have a 1 over theta to the k gamma of k. And then I'll have an e to the negative u. And then dx is replaced with theta du. So what will happen is this theta to the k will cancel with this theta to the k. And I'll have a theta over gamma of k. And then we'll have the integral from 0 to infinity. So I'm going to pull out that gamma of k and pull out this extra theta. And then I'll have a u to the power k, e to the negative u du. So this will be theta over gamma to the k, gamma of k. And then this integral over here is exactly gamma of k plus 1. So this is going to be gamma of k plus 1. Now we saw previously that gamma of k plus 1 was k gamma of k. So this ratio over here is exactly equal to k. And so what we see is that this mean is going to be theta times k. So the mean of a gamma distribution are, is the product of the two parameters, theta and k. Now to compute the variance, we're going to do a similar calculation. If I compute the expected value of x squared for a gamma distribution, what I'll have is I'll have the integral from 0 to infinity of x squared, 1 over theta to the k gamma k. And then I'll have an x to the k minus 1. And then I'll have an e to the negative x over theta d x. And we're going to change this to u, so if I use the same substitution over here, what I'll have is I'll have the integral from 0 to infinity of, this will be a u, so x is going to be theta times u, so it's going to be theta times u to the power k plus 1 now, because these terms are going to be a x to the k plus 1. Then we'll have a d, then we'll have a 1 over theta to the k, gamma k, e to the negative u, and then a theta du as before. And so all total what we have over here is we're going to have all of the theta to the k will cancel and I'll have a total of two thetas left over. So this will be theta squared over gamma k, the integral from 0 to infinity of u to the k plus 1 e to the negative u du. And that's going to be gamma of k plus 2. So this is going to be theta squared over gamma k, and then gamma of k plus 2, which of course is going to be theta squared, and then times k plus 1, times k, times gamma of k, divided by gamma of k. So those gammas of k will cancel. And we see the second moment is theta squared, and then k squared plus k. And so now if we take this second moment over here and subtract it from the square of this, what will we have? We will conclude from this that the variance of x 
is exactly equal to theta squared k squared plus theta squared k minus theta squared k squared. And so those will cancel. And we'll conclude that the variance of a gamma distribution with parameters k and theta is theta squared times k. So that is the variance, and that is the expected value. So mean, we sometimes write mu for mean, is going to be k times theta. And then we can write the standard deviation as the square root of this. So the square root of this will be theta times square root k. So those are the mean and standard deviations of a gamma distribution with parameters k and theta. Thank you very much.